So basically, this was considered a warning shot to Snoop Dogg. This is what it's looking like to me. Because notice this within the timeline. When Susan Rice sent this thread out, this picture of Snoop's son, which comes out of nowhere, leaks to the surface. And Snoop apologizes like a day or two later. Not that halfway apology, but the real apology. This goes to show you right there that he knows where the power lies. So, this what gets me about this is when he said, I talked to my mom about this. My mama called me about this. He's not talking about his mom like his real mother. He's talking about the mom that writes his checks. The mom that signs off those deals for him to get on VH1 for those cooking shows. Where he can get on these game shows. Because Snoop Dogg has transitioned from a gangster rapper. At this point, Snoop Dogg is like a universal brand. So, his mom, the one that wiped those checks, he she made the call. Because why would his mom, his real mom, be outraged of him calling Gail King up the B word? But yet, this dude built an entire career of using those words for 25 to 30 years. Just ain't shit but hoes and tricks. This was in 92. G's up, hoes down. If that bitch can't swim, she bound to drizz out. So this telling me right here that when these celebrities bow down, it's not only because of the cash flow, but it's possible dirt that a lot of the masses don't know. Because if you really look at Snoop Dogg's son's page, you ain't really see none of this stuff, I don't believe. And now this comes out. It's crazy, man. It's really crazy. And keep in mind, this was the same Snoop Dogg that had a lot of vicious bark in his bite. He had everybody believing that he was he was really the ride for the cause. We believe that 187 on the undercover cop. I'm the I'm the first nigga to walk around with the blue rag on rock rocking the flag. He popularized all this stuff and he had people thinking, yo, Snoop is gonna be the one. But you gotta understand this ain't 1995 anymore. This ain't 1995 no more, and Snoop Dogg isn't the Snoop Dogg that we knew and grew up listening to no more. Same with Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams used to say a lot of crazy stuff on the air. But with those TV deals, with all those TV deals and sponsorships, see, this is what comes with the territory. With the territory. You got to play the game. You either play the game and don't eat, or you play the game and your family members, the ones that you're close with, get exposed. And in Snoop Dogg's case, that's a hit in his image. That's a big hit in his image. And that's a tough thing to embrace, especially with the public. Now, see, with Dwayne Wade and Gabby, it's different. Because they was grooming this moment for years. So Snoop, based off his reputation... His son get put out there, especially if he was just playing football. And now you see him in drag. Shoot. Not to mention Trayvon Lane calling out Snoop. Not to mention Reggie White. He'd be, he be, he probably be coming back out soon. Got dirt on Snoop. Snoop's figure, hey, the best way to get this out of the way is just to apologize. So, this is where it stands, man. The LBGT is just straight running this game, man. The Boule, LBGT, most deaths said it best on the rape over. They run this. 
They running this. They've been, they been on these gangster rappers next. So, as they would say, get down or lay down. So, sign up. Subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think. Holla back.